many years ago when I was starting out and I had a studio in my home in New Jersey, uh, I got a phone call from uh, one of the older schmelzers and the phone call went something like this. Hello? Studio? Yes. Time. You want to book time? How much? I said, whatever it was, $50, $75 an hour. He said, could be less. <laughs> I said, no. Anyway, he showed up that Wednesday night with about 14 little kids. And um, now we fast forward about 20 years later, and I'm reintroduced to Lipa Schmelzer, who's just coming on the scene and becoming a star. Uh, currently, uh, we are in the middle of recording the Imka, the Lipa album, which is very special. Um, the uh, songs from the depth of Lipa's heart. I like this one. We were discussing how to make sure that everybody has his taste, his style, not too many songs which would be electric because other people like more old style and I think we really took a very very nice approach. Leap is obviously in the top of it and he makes sure that everything is mummish. Not a hundred percent but a thousand percent. Bring up the vocal a little bit. The whole time that we worked together and we were sitting together in the studio and you were going from here to there and singing and yelling and dancing in the phone and not the phone and singing again and again the phone. It was a very, very, very special experience. In general, uh, Lipa, Lipa has been always um, is innovator, you know? It's not just a singer, he's an artist um, in very wide range, not, not only music. Like, uh, the front is the music, but behind that there's a lot of uh, talent. And, uh, 